Hi friends, uh, my name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Michigan and today I'm going to be talking to you about the talk, uh, which is a collection of essays uh, and it's edited by Wade Hudson and Cheryl Willis Hudson. And it's called The Talk, Conversations About Race, Love and Truth. And I think this is a really important book and I'm so thankful that I had an opportunity to read it and grow as a person from it and learn from it. Um, the conversations around race and even truth and love, I guess, were not really had um, in my memory growing up in a small Midwestern town, uh, the same town that I now teach in. And I, I, I worry that these conversations still are not happening uh, in my community. And I hope that it, through books like this, uh, we can have these conversations that push us to grow and to learn and to understand people who maybe don't look like us uh, or have the same lifestyle as, as us. And I was just totally blown away by some of these stories from Grace Lynn, the Newberry Honor winning author, talking about when her daughter uh, was basically called a China doll and what that means and what that meant. And even though her daughter was five, I think the letter that she wrote in this was to her daughter when she turned 10, why that is such a bad thing, why that is such an offensive thing and why that is in no way okay with grace. I'm just mesmerized by that. Uh, and then Derek Barnes, who we know as the author of uh, Crown, Ode to the Fresh Cut, he talks about uh, a situation where his third grade son came home and they at school they read no more monkeys jumping on the bed and how one of his classmates basically said hey look you get to read a book with characters that look like you <laughs> and then uh adam gidwitz who is uh, another newberry honor winning author i guess all three of the, the authors i've mentioned so far are newberry uh, honor winning authors uh talks about It's just crazy. Uh, sorry, uh, it talks about how his family um, came came into a lot of money and a uh, hundred plus years ago, and how that money uh, was basically on the backs of of freed slaves, and how his um, great great whatever grandfather uh, owned a hardware store, and then sharecroppers used to buy things from him, and they bought it on credit and then eventually he was able to take over the land um, and make a lot of money and it's that money allowed Adam to uh, quit his teaching job and and have the financial freedom to live in New York City and pursue his dream as an author and just like the privilege that so many of us have that we don't recognize and talk about and it's just such a powerful and important book um, as someone who has grown up with a tremendous amount of privilege and continues to to have success based on that privilege, uh, it is it was just a really powerful story and one that I'm glad that I got a chance to read and think about and and learn from. Uh, and then there was this another essay in here by Tracy Baptiste, who's an amazing author. Uh, it's a story of a mother and a child being, uh, a black mother and child being pulled over by a police officer and the mother explaining the 10 rules of what you do when you are not white, uh, when you're black being pulled over by a police officer. And whew, the talk, uh, even here I am in my basement at 39 years old and it's it's still weird for me to talk about this stuff. So. The earlier we can have kind of these kind of conversations with kids, the better. And I know for a lot of us, it's not the easiest thing to have these conversations. Uh, so thankfully, we have books like The Talk, conversations about race, love, and truth to help us and in turn help our kids and in turn help the world. So I'm just really thankful for, for Wade and Cheryl for putting this anthology or collection or whatever we call it together because it's a really important book and i'm excited to see how this book makes an impact in homes and classrooms and libraries and communities and, and then in the world so read this book 
buy this book, share this book, think about these stories, learn from these stories, and let's continue to do our part to try to make the world a better place. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. It really means the world to me. Uh, have a great day. Happy, happy reading.